we are arriving to the most urban, suburban, industrial and rural area of London, Thamesmead. The city which I want to show you, the town is located in southeast of London, 11 miles from the Charing Cross. Let's go and check it out. And before we start this video, please hit the like button because it will bring you luck and it will rank my videos and higher results on YouTube. It was built in the 50s of the last century. First residents arrived here in 1964. This area was built for the purpose to solve some social issues like overcrowding slums of other parts of London. So all the housing here built in the 50s of the last century. And in, the, in many estates on the ground floors, you will see the garages. And these garages are rarely been used because they're meant to be for residents, but indeed the criminalistic uh, situation wasn't simple then and it was kind of dangerous. So there was a bulgary, some uh, convictions being performed next to the garages where there are not many residents. So now all that garages are blocked and not in use at all. And now let's go and see the other part of the Thames Meet. There are many pathways in this estate and they meant to be for the convenience of people to get from point A to point B, but at certain point it never worked out because it was dangerous to walk in this kind of pathway. So the residents was choosing to go straight from the more busier roads. Another little pathway just in between of the estates that leads to another area. And all these houses, they look so the same. It's so for me, it's like uh, to be in the Lego city. It's so easy to get lost here. We're gonna go to one of the most obscure structures in London, the handmade mountain made from the rubbish. 28 meters high, let's go. <laughs> we are at the top of the 28 meter viewing platform at the Galleon Ridge Park. And this platform is rather obscure and very strange because it was built from the building refuse here at this place was a structure and military estate extended of the village arsenal so they destroyed the estate and they built up this platform that is just amazing because from here opens up beautiful view over london you can see canary wharf you can see the thames and you can see nearby houses which are eco friendly and sustainable because the electricity to this house is supplied exclusively by solar panels installed on the roofs of the buildings. The park calls Galleon Rich. It's named after the Rich family from the 14th century who owned the properties on the both sides of the Thames of the river. Beyond the southern part of the Thames, the park is Galleon's Rich, but on the northern part of the Thames, there is a DLR station, public transport station, which calls also Galleon's Rich the same name. And the, the person who doesn't know this story may be confusing why they both call the same name. Yeah, because this is the rich family from the 14th century who owned the properties on both sides of the river. Thames Mead, as you can say from the name, located near the Thames and just by the river there is the cycling and the pedestrian lanes where you can go for a jog or for a walk or for a ride it's very pleasing to do here it's open space i usually like the open spaces especially next to the river The city was built by scratch and because it's located in marshes, it's many of the areas are below the river level and they was basically leveled up and brought up like inch by inch. And the architects who were built this uh, estate, they were inspired by water and they were thinking that 
what will bring the down all that kind of social tensions and social problems and here indeed in the Thames meet you will see many canals and many lakes and many ponds and lots of bridges Thames Mead was built as the city of the future where there is not any problems ideal but it never happened indeed in 1990s there was a, such a huge problem of racial tensions ethnic minorities like black african and asian people were living here under the huge tension they had to move out of this area this is, was no go area for them because they were afraid for their safety now those minorities that used to be long time ago became a majority here with the numerous amount of the black African I don't know why such a huge wall located is here but what I know for sure is that Thames Mead located into London boroughs the Royal Borough of Greenwich and the London Borough for Bexley. Thanks to its brutal architecture, Thames Mead was chosen by many directors as the shooting location for their films and some music videos. And actually I'm quite surprised that this place is not as heavily graffitied as Shoreditch because this is more derelict and more urban in a way. There is also the Ridgeway, the long stretching three miles uh, area of green spaces located Plumstead and Thames Mead. Perfect for cycling, juggling and running and walking and all other activities. And as many other parts of London, Thames Mead being also redeveloped and the new housing coming here, uh, built by new, some developers. The town of the future of the 21st century, indeed urban, suburban and rural in this brutalist estate. I'm finishing this video about Thames Mint and I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I publish a video twice a week about travel, healthy lifestyle, Russia, London and other stuff. And comment what you'd like to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.